Dreams have a weird way of compressing time, and it may take a lot longer to turn the dream into reality. Alicia Poppet realized that if she wanted to bring her vision of a career in music to fruition, she would have to be in it for the long haul. Her hard work is bearing fruit, as she explained during a recent visit to Cape Town. Your cheeks were red, you smiled in your bed, your eyes twinkled as she held your hand. That's when she called you Africa. Singer-songwriter Alicia Poppet made her big breakthrough in 2010 when she joined some of the biggest names in the music industry to perform an anthem to Africa at the World Cup. This was a major milestone in her career, which she'd started on a part-time basis while studying in Cape Town. Music is known to transcend race, language and borders, and someone who has proved that on all three accounts is Kenyan-born singer Alicia Puffett. I'm right here in Cape Town to catch up with this talented Indian beauty and find out more about her musical journey. and that voice, absolutely oh, amazing. Wow. Alicia, you lead such a fascinating life. So let's start at the beginning. What was it like growing up in Kenya? I love Kenya. I had the most fabulous childhood. I remember never staying home on weekends. We went out camping and horse riding and fishing. And what brought you to South Africa? A friend of mine was in Peter Maritzburg at the Wickham Collegiate. She showed me a prospectus and there was a girl in a canoe and then a girl with a guitar singing. And I was like, I want to go to that school. So uh, I told my mom and dad, you need to send me there. Where did your love for music begin? That, it's definitely my mom. She used to play guitar and she had an old country book. And I remember picking up the guitar and the first ever song I learnt was Coward of the County. How does that go? Promise me son not to do the things I've done. Walk away from trouble if you can. Kenny Rogers. I love Kenny Rogers. <laughs> You've worked with some pretty big names in the industry. Tell me a bit about that. I've been so lucky, honestly. I got the chance to sing at the World Cup. And I sang with Louis Sobala and Eric Wainaina from Kenya, Salim and Suleiman Merchant from India. That was nuts. And then I got to work with Lindsay Sterling, which was absolutely a highlight for me. She is this massive YouTuber. She basically came to Kenya and did a collaboration with me. She loved Kenya. I loved seeing how she felt uh, seeing Kenya for the first time through her eyes. Zolani Mahola, which has always been a dream of mine. I used to always think, imagine, imagine if I could one day sing with that woman. And then I did. And it was this, this huge tick off my, like, off my, you know, off my little bucket list. I hear you've got a little treat planned for us. I thought, why not just go and take to the streets and play a few songs and see what happens? Let's do it. <laughs> Alicia had persuaded fellow musician and adventurer Max to be her busking partner. Awesome. This is Max. Hi, Hi Max, lovely to meet you. He's um, <laughs> an amazing friend of mine for 10 years. We met on our first year of university and uh, we've just been playing music together for, for the longest time, uh, trying to establish ourselves as musicians. So Max, so. you've literally seen Alicia's journey evolve. Yep. What impresses <laughs> you the most about her? This has been her thing, her passion, and she's just been hungry for it and she's got the drive to make it happen. So you guys obviously perform live a lot together, so this should be no problem for you guys. I prefer live music, I prefer performing live because of different energies. You, you get to actually... Uh, make it up. Yeah, improv, dance, make it up, and, and people um, feed off your energy, you feed off theirs. Give it a go guys, good luck. Perfect. Thank Do you. Do okay. you want to shake it down? All right, guys, so I'm Kenyan. I'm going to try this. I know it's Mary Makeba. Don't laugh at me. So I'm going to go for it. Woo! Here we go. Do you recognize the song? Yes. 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 It's good. Okay. Well, no. Where's the 
Stockton Google Sachi Bigger We're 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 Stockton Google Sachi Bigger Mama yeah, mama yeah, mama Oh mama yeah, mama yeah, mama In the jungle, the mighty jungle The lion sleeps tonight In the jungle, the quiet jungle The lion sleeps tonight The combination of the sea air and a rocking performance meant they'd worked up quite an appetite. And Alicia invited Karishma to lunch. Alicia, I love the spot you brought me to. It's absolutely stunning. I come here twice every year. And uh, they have the most amazing fish and chips. I don't know how you feel about this, but it's like delicious, full battered chips with vinegar and salt and tomato sauce. I can't even tell you. He's, with your figure, I cannot believe uh, you eat that. Whatever, <laughs> we're so young. <laughs> what do you miss about Cape Town? Cape Town, honestly, is a very, very special place for me. My dad always says God spent the most time when he was making this specific place. I love that. I completely agree. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> oh my word. See what I mean? This looks Thanks, amazing. Brother. Thank, you. Thank you, we will. I cannot wait to tuck into this. Oh, yeah. What are some of the challenges you faced in your career? It's not easy as an independent musician. It, I mean, if you're not signed with a record label, everything comes out of your own pocket. You're not sure if you want to be signed with a record label anyway. So you have to find a way to, you know, pay for your videos and your audio, your social media, invoicing. You're pretty much doing the sound for your, you know, for your own shows. So it's been a little bit difficult just spreading yourself out so much and not really focusing on the, on the creative aspect. What do you hope to achieve as an artist? I've always wanted to open up this charity organization, it's a music organization where, in a nutshell, um, sponsors um, sponsor basically musical departments in rural schools and you get people on a timeshare basis to come and teach uh, guitar, uh, vocal lessons, dancing, uh, you know, basically self-expression. And, uh, and then these kids can then empower themselves creatively to hopefully get a job or even if they can't, just as a, as a means, you know, for self-expression. You are such a bright, shining Thank star. You, honey. So I have ah. no doubt that you're going to achieve all that you want to. So cheers, oh, cheers. to success. Thank you, honey. Cheers.